As we count down to the big game, the LA Convention Center is being transformed into its own interactive Super Bowl experience. It's really like a football theme park. So much fun. Today, the media got a first look, and Fox 11's Hal Eisner checked it out for us. Hal? Yeah, and, and you know what? If you take a look behind me, you can see what is basically the makings of a, a fun fest. The Super Bowl experience is what it's called, and it's just one event leading up to the Super Bowl. It was five years in the making to get it here, and I can't believe we're two weeks out. Coming straight back to me, boys. As workers in the L.A. Convention Center South Hall erected scaffolding and loaded in what's needed for the NFL Super Bowl experience, which is like an interactive theme park for football lovers, the head of the Los Angeles Super Bowl host committee, Catherine Schlossman, talked about how the big bowl game is a much-needed economic shot in L.A.'s collective arm. This is our coming out party. Conservative estimates are that L.A. hits the jackpot with an anticipated $477 million in economic impact. Tax revenue of up to $22 million is expected to be generated for the region. When built by Saturday, the Super Bowl experience will be just one of the big draws. But would we have scored bigger if the Super Bowl had two teams that were not from L.A. and we had more visitors with fat wallets spending money here? Typically, the, the definition is you want two visiting teams that travel well, but not necessarily. It depends on the team. Some cities don't travel as well as others. Uh, honestly, Hal, we end up about the same. I mean, the projections from uh, Micronomics, who did the forecasting for this, even if it's an L.A. team, because their fan base is so spread across the country, we'll get about the same benefit either way. If you do have two out-of-town teams, depending on how far they're coming from, certainly that can increase that economic impact. But as both say, L.A. is known far and wide, and that itself is a draw, so they believe people would come regardless of who's playing, not just for the game, but for the fun stuff too, like the Super Bowl experience, where you can run like a football player and act like a place kicker. And back here at the Los Angeles Convention Center in the South Hall, the work continuing. Another little economic note, if you go this Saturday or Sunday when this thing gets started, the adult ticket price is 20 bucks. 40 bucks, though, double the price if you wait till next week when everybody else comes to town. Alex, Christine, back to you.